Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our website, Excel-BoardTemplates.com, so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques using Excel. All right, sorry I've been gone for a little while. I have a project going on in Australia, which is where I am right now, presently in Melbourne, uh, working on the project. But I got this question from Don, and I wanted to post it out there uh, so that he could get what he's working on completed. Uh, so Don says, uh, Steve, how do I put vertical lines in this simple chart? Please list the instructions step by step. Thank you very much for your help. Well, Don's an old friend, so I wanted to make sure we got this done as quickly as possible for him. Uh, what he's done is he's charted this data right here, just a real simple chart. And he said when I talked to them that he'd like to add a vertical line here at Tuesday and also Thursday just for uh, grins. So let's see how, about, how you can do that. So. Uh, there's three quick ways that I know that you can do this. The first one, which is not the most dynamic way to do it, go up to your insert ribbon, go up to shapes, find a uh, line, there's the line right there, come up on top of your chart and draw your line. And there you have it. We have a, uh, a vertical line. I'm going to hit control one because it's probably kind of hard to see. Uh, and then I'm going to change the point up to make it a little fatter. And let's change the line color to something like uh, red. So you can do this both vertically and horizontally. However, if you ever move your chart, you'll notice the line does not stay with it. Let me undo that. Also, if you don't have a simple weak sort of uh, chart and you come in and insert another value, uh, and let's call this uh, half Wednesday and that value is equal to 10. Uh, you can see this line is no longer directly on Tuesday. It's been shifted because the chart's going to keep expanding and, uh, and or contracting. So drawing a line on your chart may not be the best way to uh, handle that without having to spend a lot of manual time trying to edit and move this back to the right spot. So let me go ahead and show you how... Uh, Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at one way to do this. So I've copied Don's data here, and you've got Sunday through Saturday. You've got the various line that he wants to make. And then what I've done is I've created a second series over here uh, where I'm going to create a vertical line using um, what we already have here, but I'm going to create this with a combination uh, line and column chart. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and highlight the data. and I'm going to go up to my Insert Ribbon. I'm going to go to my line chart, and I'm going to do a 2D line chart, which is what uh, Don had chosen. Let me move that so you can see that a little better. Uh, now you'll notice you see um, we have the line in blue, and we have a vertical line in red, but I don't see any data points here in red. Go to our blog and make sure you look up uh, how to find an unfindable data series uh, in your chart, and uh, it'll show you how to do this, but I'm going to quickly find that by uh, just clicking in the chart and then moving some arrow keys. You can see now over here I've selected the second series. Um, alternately, I could make this a little easier and just put 12 in the entire thing. And you'll see my line shows up there and it's easily selectable. Uh, so once I've done that, I, what I want to do is click on that and then I want to go up to my, uh, my design ribbon. From my design ribbon in the type area, I want to choose change chart type and I'm going to change this chart type to a column and you can see now we have uh, what appears to be at least vertical columns um, let me go ahead and delete the days that Don did not want so now we have Tuesdays and Thursdays if I click on those columns right click on them click on format data series um, what I can do is uh, um, I can actually click on the uh, series options tab here and what I want to do is I want to uh, uh, change the gap width to a large gap width. That will make them appear more like lines um, and it's kind of an easy way to uh, get them to uh, look like the lines that you'd probably make them that thick to be seen on the screen anyway. Um, now the only other thing is because I've put these up to 12 it's increased my range um, to 14 instead of 12. I want 12 to be the top, so if I right click on my axis, click on Format Axis, come over to uh, the maximum and make the maximum fixed to 12, as long as I know my data set won't go beyond that. 
and now it looks as though I've created some vertical lines here. I can delete the legend because I don't need to see that anymore. Uh, so you can see where Tuesday is, you can see where Thursday is, uh, and uh, that's one way to do it. Now let me show you the third way. Uh, what we've got here is we have uh, the same chart that uh, Don had created before. This one might be a little bit more complicated, but it allows you a lot of flexibility and control to put the lines exactly where you want them and make them look more uh, like a really thin line and uh, do that as you wish. So highlight the range, go up to insert, oops, let me uh, unhighlight line so we don't have to see the legend for that. I'm going to go up to my insert menu, line, 2D line chart, uh, let me uh, move that over here, and delete that series. So you can see that what we have is we have uh, the chart that he started out with. Now what do I want to do is I want to set up my range for a vertical line for Tuesday and a vertical line for Thursday. Now, um, what this is going to do is uh, I want to count how many categories that I have. So I've got one, two, three. That's where Tuesday is going to go. And then we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five for Thursday. And that's why I have five set up here. Um, I've also got the data points going from 0 to 12 uh, on the vertical side. Um, and it's going to go out to 3 for the x-axis. So it's going to go up like this. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. What I want to do is click on the simple chart that I've already created. I want to go up to my uh, design ribbon and then on selected data in my data group I want to click on that. And so now you'll see you get the select data source. So we've already got the one series, series 1 added. Now we want to add another series doesn't matter what we do it, let's go ahead and call it Tuesday and we're going to say the series values um, uh, let's just do anything right here, we'll click on the 3 to 3 and click on OK, let's click on OK again you can now see we've created Tuesday uh, and it's going from 3 to 3, so for the first two categories but what we want to do is we now want to change this because if you keep doing that you'll just get a horizontal line um, so we've selected that chart uh, element which is this horizontal line. We want to go up to our design ribbon. We want to click on change chart type and we want to change this to an XY scatter chart and we want to choose a scatter with straight lines and no markers. Click on that and then click on OK. Doesn't look like the lines changed much but now what it's done is it's changed our data series so uh, so that I've actually got X's and Y's instead of just uh, uh, one row of data. Okay, so we've got our line changed to an XY scatter line uh, and what we want to do is we want to change this to the second axis is the first step that we want to do. Uh, so hit control 1 um, which will bring up your dialog box. Um, you can alternately go up to your layout and do format selection. So we want to move this from our series options to a secondary axis. Let's see what that's done. It's actually added um, X values and Y values. I'm actually going to go ahead and show my secondary axis uh, horizontal one by going to my layout ribbon, secondary horizontal axis, show default axis. So now you can see <clears throat> the X's and Y's that we're going to plot this line on. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, go back to uh, make sure your line is selected go to your design ribbon, go to select data. We want to edit the Tuesday line uh, series and you can see here's where we have the X's and Y's. So uh, let's go ahead and click in the X's and that's going to be, we're always going to go out to 3 and then uh, uh, let me go and delete the Y values real quick and let's check the Y, select the Y values. You can see we have a vertical line now uh, it's not in the right area, but we do have a vertical line, so let's go ahead and click on OK. Click on OK again. Now, to get this to the right area, all we have to do is delete these other axes. So if I click on Delete, look at that, it's a Tuesday. Uh, and I can click on Delete on the right axis and get rid of that one. So we've made a vertical line here, uh, like what we want to do before, since we want that to terminate at the very top of the chart. Right click on your at vertical axis click on format axis, let's do fixed to 12, close, now you can see we have a vertical line uh, 
created. Now if you want to make multiple vertical lines, because we've now inserted an XY scatter line in here, uh, we can actually add an additional one. So um, it's all, we don't have to do some of those other steps. All we would have to do is go back to our design ribbon, select data. Let's go ahead and add a new series. Series name we'll call it Thursday. We can just go ahead and add our X's and we can also add our Y's. Click on OK and OK and look there's a vertical line for Thursday. So once you've kind of done all the prep setup by adding the other axis and then getting rid of them, uh, you can add as many vertical lines as you wish. So that's the other way you can add vertical lines um, and then as you change data uh, they will stay in the position that you set them or you can add formulas uh, to move them to the correct position so that you always know where Thursday is. All right, so uh, once again, my name is Steve True, Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit our blog and let me know if you have any questions like Don and what you'd like to see done on a chart sample that you have.